Здравствуйте, comrades! I am Yuri Alexei, everybody's favorite on this show. Now, today Andy Flatter is not away because he is busy at the ice wall. He is busy trying to stop the NASA lies from... What's his problem? Every time I go to say something about what Andy Flatter is doing, you stop me. Здравствуйте, everyone! I am Yuri Alexei. Now, Andy Flatter is off being the shill that he is. Kia ora everyone, I am Lance Cable Flatter. Well, with the anti flatter being away on other duties, we thought now is a good time to show a video from someone who, let's be fair, is a whole lot smarter than him. Today we have special permission to use a preview clip from fellow creator David Emery, where he does his gravity experiments. David. Close yours, buddy. Well, good morning, everybody. We have an exciting video today for you. Um, I'm just thrilled that we finally got this prepared and ready to go. Uh, we're going to talk about gravity versus density, and we're going to show absolutely that, that um, things don't fall because of density. And of course, we can't forget our joke of the week. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? So here is my experiment. Um, over to the left here, you can see uh, 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 the scientific method. So we can be sure we're following the correct steps. Um, first of all, there are many, many flat earth videos that make claims that gravity does not exist, that there's no force holding things down, and that density is what makes things fall. We hear all these cries, and I know you've seen videos, why does a helium balloon rise? Or how can the force be strong enough to hold down billions of gallons of seawater and yet be weak enough to allow a butterfly to fly? Um, you've seen the videos, and I'm sure you've seen the debunks, so uh, we're not going to talk about that in this video, but uh, I think you'll see some answers if your mind is open to the truth. So the first step, our scientific question that we've come up with is, can we determine whether or not density can produce the effects that scientists attribute to gravity? Uh, can we drop objects of different, differing volume, mass, and density from different heights to see whether they drop at the same time or not. Here's my background research. Uh, again, we hear in uh, we hear in flat Earth videos all the time that scientists don't know what gravity is, uh, and there have been all these disputes. Uh, back and forth, back and forth. Um, but we know what the effects of gravity are. Uh, we may not know what gravity is or where it comes from, uh, but we do know what its effects are. Both Newton and Einstein had, had ideas of gravity. Sometimes we hear that Einstein uh, replaced Newton, and so Newtonian gravity is not no longer uh, evident. Newton, <coughs> Newtonian gravity is from a classical point of view, and Einstein from his general relativity. 
Einstein did not invalidate or replace Newton. Now let me repeat that. Einstein did not invalidate or replace Newton. Newtonian gravity is merely relativity with set conditions. So, uh, or Einsteinian gravity covers different solution or different conditions. Uh, and it does work for the same conditions as Newtonian gravity, but Newtonian gravity uh, still works and it's much, much easier to use in everyday uh, use. Um, and you can look that up. I have a link here you can look. Uh, currently, very advanced theoretical physicists uh, so currently due to time and space studies and this has been a, a big thing in the news lately time and space uh, and efforts to re reconcile the four fundamental forces there are four fundamental forces, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, electromagnetism, and gravity. Uh, and there's, there is a far-reaching uh, the theory of everything. And you may have to look that up if you've never heard of that. But I can guarantee you that none of those things prohibit the fact that the effects of gravity are evident, quantifiable, and measurable. And that, unfortunately, is all we're allowed to show. If you want to see the rest of it, including the anti flatters part, then I suggest that you make your way over to David's channel. Link's going to be in the description. As for me, well, I'm just going to stay here defending the ice cream.